Joel 1. The word of Hashem, which came to Joel, son of Pethuel. Hear this, O elders, and give ear all inhabitants of the land. Was there such a thing in your days or in the days of your forefathers? Tell your children about it, and your children to their children, and their children to another generation. What remained from the cutting locust, the abundant locust has devoured. What remained from the abundant locust, the chewing locust has devoured. And what remained from the chewing locust, the demolishing locust has devoured. Awaken, you drunkards, and weep, and wail, all you wine drinkers, over the fine wine that has been eliminated from your mouths. For a nation has come up against my land, mighty and without number. Its teeth are the teeth of a lion and it has the molars of a lion cub. It has rendered my vine desolate and my fig tree a source of despair. It has stripped it of its bark and discarded it. Its branches have turned white. Lament like a maiden girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. Meal, offering, and libation have been eliminated from the temple of Hashem. The Kohanim, the ministers of Hashem, mourn. The field has been plundered the land destroyed, for the grain has been robbed, the wine dried up, and the oil devastated. Be ashamed, O plowman. Wail, O orchard workers, over wheat and over barley, for the harvest of the field has been lost. The vine has dried up, and the fig tree has been devastated. The pomegranate tree, as well as the date tree and the apple tree, all the trees of the field have dried up. For rejoicing has dried up from among the sons of man. Gird yourselves with sackcloth and lament, O Kohanim. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. For meal offering and libation have been withheld from the temple of your God. Decree a fast. Declare an assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land to the temple of Hashem your God and cry out to Hashem. Woe for that day, for the day of Hashem is near, and like sudden plunder it will come from the Almighty. Is not food cut off from before our eyes, and happiness and exultation from the temple of our God? Casks of wine have become moldy under their lids. Storehouses are laid desolate and silos destroyed, for the grain has withered. How the animals groan. Herds of cattle are bewildered, for there is no pasture for them. Also flocks of sheep were made desolate. To you, Hashem, I call out, for fire has consumed the dwellings of the wilderness, and flame has scorched the trees of the field. Also the animals of the field cry out to you, for the springs of water have dried up, and fire has consumed the dwellings of the wilderness. Joel 2 Blow the shofar in Zion and sound the trumpet on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Hashem has come. It is near, a day of darkness and thick darkness, a day of cloud and thick cloud, spreading over the mountains like the dawn, a numerous and mighty people. Its like has not been from eternity, and after it there will never be again, until the years of generation after generation. Before it, a fire consumes, and after it, a flame scorches. Before it, the land was like the Garden of Eden, but after it, a desolate desert. There is no remnant from it. Like the appearance of horses is its appearance, and like horsemen, so do they run. With a noise like chariots, they leap on the mountains, like the sound of a flaming fire consuming straw like a mighty people arrayed for battle. Peoples tremble before it. All faces become blackened. They run like mighty men. They scale the wall like men of war. Everyone goes in his set way, and they do not corrupt their paths. A man does not press his fellow. Each one walks his course. They fall upon the sword, but are not wounded. They stride in the city. They run on the wall. They ascend into the houses. They come through the windows like a thief. Before it, the land trembles. The heavens quake. The sun and the moon become blackened and the stars withdraw their shine. 
Hashem has emitted his voice before the advent of his army. For his camp is very numerous. For those who carry out his word are mighty. For the day of Hashem is great and very awesome. Who will be able to bear it? Even now, the word of Hashem, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with lamentation. Rend your hearts and not your garments, and return to Hashem your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and he relents of evil. Whoever knows, let him repent and regret, and it will be a blessing behind it for a meal offering and libation to Hashem your God. Blow a shofar in Zion, decree a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, summon the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the young children and sucklings, let the bridegroom go forth from his chamber and the bride from her canopy. Between the hall and the altar, let the Kohanim, the ministers of Hashem, weep, and let them say, have pity, Hashem, upon your people. Let not your heritage be an object of scorn for nations to dominate them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then Hashem will take up the cause of his land and take pity on his people. Hashem will reply and say to his people, behold, I am sending you the grain and the wine and the oil and you will be sated from it and I will no longer make you a disgrace among the nations. I will distance the northern one from you, and I will banish it to an arid and desolate land, its face to the eastern sea and its rear to the western sea. Its foul odor will ascend and its stench will go out, for it has done great evil. Fear not, O land, exult and be glad, for Hashem has done great kindness. Fear not, animals of the field, for the dwellings of the wilderness have become covered with grass. For the tree has borne its fruit, the fig tree and the vine have given forth their wealth. Children of Zion, exult and be glad with Hashem your God. For he has given you a teacher for righteousness, and he has brought down the rain for you, the early rain and the late rain, in the first month. The granaries will be filled with grain, and the vats will overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the abundant locust, the chewing locust, and the demolishing locust, and the cutting locust, my great army that I sent among you, consumed. And you will eat, eating and being satisfied, and you will praise the name of Hashem, your God, who has acted wondrously with you, and my people will not be shamed evermore. Then you will know that in the midst of Israel am I, and that I am Hashem your God, there is none other, and my people will not be shamed evermore. Joel 3 And it will happen after this, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters will prophesy, your elders will dream prophetic dreams, and your young men will see visions even also upon the slaves and upon the maidservants in those days, I will pour out my spirit. I will set wonders in the heavens and on earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun will turn into darkness and the moon to blood red before the coming of the great and awesome day of Hashem. And it will be that anyone who calls in the name of Hashem will escape. For on the mountain of Zion and in Jerusalem there will be refuge, as Hashem said, and among the survivors whom Hashem summons. Joel 4 For behold, in those days and at that time, when I will bring back the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all of the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will contend with them there concerning my people and my possession Israel that they dispersed among the nations, and they divided up my land, and they cast lots upon my people. They gave boys for harlots' fee, and they sold girls for wine and drank it. Also, what are you to me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the districts of Philistia? Are you paying requital to me? And if you are requiting me, swiftly and soon will I return your requital upon your head. For you have taken my silver, 
and my gold, and you have brought my desirable and good possessions to your palaces. And you sold the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem to the children of the Greeks in order to distance them from their border. Behold, I will rouse them from the place to which you sold them, and I will return your requital upon your head. And I will sell your sons and daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabians, to a distant people, for Hashem has spoken. Announce this among the nations. Prepare for war. Arouse the mighty men. Let all the men of war approach and ascend. Beat your plows into swords and your pruning forks into spears. Even the weak one will say, I am mighty. Let all the surrounding nations hurry and come and let them gather together. There, Hashem will demolish your warriors. Let the nations rouse themselves and go up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the nations from all around. Extend the sickle, for the harvest has ripened. Come and trample the grapes, for the winepress is full. The vats have overflowed, for their evil is great. Multitudes upon multitudes will fall in the valley of the final decision. For the day of Hashem is near in the valley of the final decision. The sun and moon have become blackened, and the stars have withdrawn their shine. And Hashem will roar from Zion and will emit His voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and earth will tremble. But Hashem will be a shelter for His people and a stronghold for the children of Israel. Thus you will know that I am Hashem your God who dwells in Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem will be holy and aliens will no longer pass through her. And it shall be on that day that the mountains will drip with vine. The hills will flow with milk, and all the water courses of Judah will flow with water. And a spring will go out from the house of Hashem and water the valley of Shittim. Egypt will become a desolation, and Edom will become a desolate wilderness. Because of the robbery of the children of Judah, for they shed innocent blood in their land. Judah will exist forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. Though I cleanse... Their bloodshed I will not cleanse when Hashem dwells in Zion. Hello, that was the prophecy of Joel. It's not entirely clear when this book was written, but many very smart people with many books and degrees and hair, they all agree that Joel is a contemporary to Habakkuk and Nahum. And so that's what we'll do. Joel prophesies a destruction and famine, yet God provides for a way out. God is slow to anger, abundant in kindness. Joel prophesies, Joel prophesies relief if there is repentance. And this is the theme. Abundance and security will come from God's hand if there is obedience to the way he says you should live. If there's disobedience, then it's misery and disaster and destruction and horrible. All the things we want to try to avoid. You can see the challenge. Joel prophesies that the spirit of Hashem will be poured out. Again, this is a common theme. The end of days represents a time where the Lord will have sought out his vengeance. He will have set the scales correct. This means that the people who punish his people, they are going to get punished. For the people of Israel, although it may only be a remnant, it's their revival. We have got ourselves a storyline now, fellas. That's the whole book. Thank you for watching. The NQE is out.